one, like that's where you get interesting, sort of obviously like national uh, narratives or myths or things like this. The other thing I guess that would be interesting about it is like also then, um, so stories of a collective hope. It's interesting. Uh, one of the things, like, I guess, in these different ways also, in terms of versions of uh, identities and especially certain kinds of religious identities, like where being a member of a group is so vital, and not just, I guess, it's probably inadequate to even say member of a group, it's member of a community, because like, you could identify, you know, religion that was highly individualistic in its practice, and uh, you just know that there are other people doing the same thing, is maybe not quite the same thing as uh, achieving, like you're a member of that group, but not yet a community where you require each other to live this way of life. And so under those conditions, right, it's interesting when communities themselves suffer certain devastations. So yeah, that was, so right, so the course that I will teach is, so the first part, like, it'll go through this pro these problems of uh, reasonable hope and where like each of us might come up with some sort of justification of how to make sense of the world and, uh, and think that it's tending towards the better, or could tend towards the better, some conditions why we might not give up on it. Um, and then there's a, a philosopher, uh, Jonathan Lear, who uh, went to a talk about the Crow Indian and what the experiences of, um, uh, of the, of the, uh, of the sort of uh, Aboriginal communities were like. Uh, um, and then just thinking that um, uh, that this is a case of what he called radical hope, precisely because there wasn't a way of uh, going on within the life of the community to see how they could uh, imagine all of the virtues uh, um, and values that the community uh, uh, represented was committed to, how those could be realized in their current reality. And so imagining a future under those con conditions sort of demands something like uh, radical hope. Um, and so, yeah, that's it. It's a, just an interesting part of the problem. Um, uh, yeah, so I don't have good thoughts about that yet, but I mean, sort of have a sense that there's been some literature on the, like, philosophical literature on the problem, not just sort of um, historical accounts that I'm sort of interested in looking at with students. So we'll see how that goes. I mean, it's also, it was, it was interestingly, uh, I think it was the case uh, for uh, Jews after the Holocaust to think about things in some of these terms, and then maybe, um, you know, you can find other historical cases about, um, uh, and it'd be interesting to sort of think about them also, like, in the individual cases of where just the idea of, like, you cannot imagine a future at all, and how people find the resources to somehow imagine one, um, uh, when everything seems to have collapsed. So, yeah, uh, I think that would be interesting to do.